Uh, Sarah Jane Calvert says, mm-hmm. "Why does Palpatine hate the Jedi? Why does the uh, why does why does the epitome of selfishness selfishness care about the revenge of the ancient Sith? Mm-hmm. I realize the Jedi are an obstacle to unlimited power, but why is it so personal? Hmm. Uh, I mean, I th- we don't know the exact." Um philosophies of the Sith, right? We don't know their exact tenets, but if it's about achieving power and not sharing power, the only way you can do that is if you, like, if you win or you die, and most Sith die. So they have to, like, the rule of two isn't, like, this genius idea. It's, like, we have to at least have one friend (laughs) to share stuff with in case we die, (laughs) you know? Um, And I think Palpatine, like... He, I think that he is a, a a student of that philosophy, but he found that there is an endpoint to this, and it just so happens to be me, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So I, I think that what he's doing is that he, like, like I am all the Sith. When he says that, that's not necessarily. I mean, it isn't it isn't an egotistical statement because sure. it's a hundred percent true. The guy can back it up. Sure. It, the the Sith. <clears throat> there was whatever the Sith were, and then it came down to. Mm-hmm. I guess in theory, Bane. Yeah, I, I don't know how much of that is canon, canon right now, but a Bane it existed yeah. at some point, mm-hmm. and whatever he did is maybe canon, or maybe yeah. not. But and then he passed it down one by one by one. So everything the Sith are is what he is. Mm-hmm. So that is true. And the Jedi and the Sith have been at war yeah. in the past. So I think yes, there's an obstacle segment of that. That it's like yeah. I have to take them out in order to do this, and because he doesn't and he fails at that, mm-hmm. he ultimately loses in the future, right? Yep. But uh, um, I don't know. It could also just be a an ego thing too. Like mm-hmm. he has been built up by the Sith to be this what he is now. Yeah, and he believes so highly in himself that to to just to to kind of even just mock them. I will defeat them with their own army, with their own with their own everything. Yeah, and it's 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 almost it's it's not a selfishness in him, but it's an egotistical like I'm going to trick them so much with this proxy war and their army and yeah. turn everything against them to now they're the bad guys. They right. thought they were the heroes. They thought they were saving everybody, but now everyone believes them to be the villains. Yeah. And that's that's the the goal I think he has. Not even just like yeah. destroying them, but destroying like their legacy. Yeah. It's it's like the perfect combination of ego and ambition. Yeah. Right? Like you ever hear stories or you watch like watch the last dance documentary about Michael Jordan. Like thank God Michael Jordan had something to pour his ego and ambition into or else he probably would have ruled the world. Like you know like like some people will like I have to be the best and I, I am fiercely competitive. Like pal- think about Palpatine. He's the most powerful force user we've ever seen pretty much. Yeah. I know that there's some of the legend stuff we have like Viatate from the the older public and nihilist but i mean he's one of and if at the very least in movie canon the most powerful person we've ever seen he is the best politician he's the the best lightsaber fighter we've seen mm-hmm. like no one's come close like he is the best at everything so he deserves everything that's how, how he thinks like it's it makes for a fun character but also like because he's so good at those things it also can be incredibly funny some of the stuff that he says cuz like the, the only way that humor works is if he can kind of back it up, and he can. Mm-hmm. He can back it up. Sure. So, and even when you kill him, he's still like, you don't think I plan for dying? <laughs> yeah, I have plans. Yeah, <laughs> like I had plans on plans. Yeah. The old legends, I had plans. In the canon, I have plans. Yeah. <laughs> he That's, has multiversal plans. <laughs> that was one of the things too. Like I know there were people upset about being like, oh, he's cloning himself, and that, yeah. that, no, they never said that anywhere. And it's like, well, I mean, I never saw any evidence of another Death Star. Sure. Yeah. In Return of the Jedi, until they showed another Death Star in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like they didn't. There wasn't Empire Strikes Back, and they were like, "Hey, by the way, I'm going to be working on this." Oh, absolutely. You know, so like, I, I, I think it's silly to not think that he is trying to make plans of whatever he has, any contingency, and he had some words like, "All right, well, if I die, I'll be a clone." Well, and if I die, I'm gonna kill everything. Yeah. You know? Like, I mean, I it's can't be it's the leader. natural progression from Episode Three. Like, he could even save the ones he cared about from dying. Yeah, and but, as you said before, yeah, but not himself. Palpatine can save himself because yeah. that's what he cares about. Yeah, like it, if anything, it's kind of ridiculous to think that he didn't do that. I remember, I don't know, uh, in this last year, reading an article 
that was from 1983 and someone being like, do we really believe the emperor is dead from this? Do you really think that this person, like he's got to be still alive somehow. It's ridiculous if he's not. From episode nine? Or? No, from episode six, when it oh. came out in 1980, you know, uh, three or whatever, there was oh. a newspaper article. Just when there were only three movies. When there was three movies, and that Palpatine was, you know, he he's a whole different character in episode five, but he's introduced and he dies in that movie. I remember there, there was a, it's either a, I don't think it's a fan letter. I think it's a movie critic talking mm. about how he didn't really buy it, and it's like, I don't know, I the emperor didn't really do it for me. If, if it really feels like they're setting this up for him to come back later, but we'll see, you know, sure. <laughs> I just thought it was really funny to read that. And then also read the responses of people being like, it's ridiculous that he's back. Sure. You know, no, I think so too. Yeah. Like I, I really believe conten- contingencies sure. he would take and yeah. like, it makes sense. Especially but, I mean, with all, this, we, all the we, canon stuff we have. Yeah. And I don't want to like, but we have more knowledge. We do. Then, then, maybe just movie watchers have too. Sure. Right? And even if if you did not like that, that doesn't, you know, mean like, well, you know, this guy said it back then, so you're wrong. Like you can still have taste on like sure. how it was done. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I, I think I, there's I, things... I don't like that it just you know, they had a Fortnite event where they could have just like <laughs> fucking don't do that. <laughs> you know, come on. <laughs> so I think there's, there's stuff that I don't like too, but I think there's things in the the sequel trilogy that you can complain about, but yeah. the just the fact that he was cloning himself, it, mm-hmm. I don't think is one of those to complain about. It's in, in it my, was in, in my the Star, War, Star Wars vernacular for 20 years before that. Sure. I mean, there's a famous story where George Lucas liked Dark Empire so much, he gave copies of it to like all of Lucas' uh, film like as a Christmas gift. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, he, the dude liked it. You know, he still never considered it his canon, but at the very least, he was like, oh, <laughs> that's cool. Luke fell with dark side. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> if only she would have uh, would have played basketball, we wouldn't have had like a crazy Emperor Palpatine, right? If he learned it because of the yeah, yeah Michael Jordan. The Michael thing. Jordan thing, I, thing, yeah. I mean, yeah. even when you look at like like I I, I like to uh, look at clips of like Kobe Bryant and people talking about stories about him and how like even when he was seventeen, eighteen, like. Like he would just like look at you obsessively. I'm coming. I'm coming. You wait. You wait. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be at the top. And that dude got to the top. You know, the sheer determination. Hmm. So you can do that in good ways, and you can do that in bad ways. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm sure Alexander the Great was. Well, I'm coming. I'm, I'm gonna coming. be there. I'll be you there. wait. I'll be on the top. <laughs> <laughs> 